So today we're going to be learning about GCSE Prepper. To access the GCSE Prepper, you need to go to that website and you will be asked to log in. You will use your Herschel Grammar School email account and the password that you have set. And then you'll hit the login button. Once it loads up, you will see all the classes that you've been added to. If you see a green tick, it means either there's no assignments or all the assignments are completed. And if there is a red exclamation mark, it means there are some assignments that are still due. So what you can do when you're on the dashboard is you can click here, view class, and that will take you into your class. And here you can see all the tasks that have been set for you by your teachers. Many tasks have been set for revision purposes, so not all of them will be done. And you can also see which tasks are completed. If you click on activity report, then it brings up a record of what you've been doing. If you click progress tracker, it asks you which subject would you like to track your progress. So if we look at this one, you will see that it's telling you which topics you have revised, which ones you have not revised, and how much time you have spent on each topic, and what progress you've made through that topic. Some of the topics are set by teachers, some of it will be revision tasks that you have done yourself. But the real important part that I would like all Year 10s and 11s of 2022 to take into account is this option, the Revise tool. When you click on the Revise tool, it asks you, do you want to optimize your revision? Now that will come available if you've done more than 50 questions on GCSE. It will already pick up the topics that you are not doing so well in, and it will automatically find questions for you on that topic. So if you're not sure what revision to do, click on optimized mode, and it will automatically say which syllabus would you like to do. It's tracked this child in physics and biology. So you can say here, create an optimized quiz, and immediately there are 14 questions available for you to try. Now, while we're here, let me show you around. Obviously, you can exit the quiz at any time. Wherever there's a green pencil, it lets you type in the answer. And you can then view if your answer is right or wrong. And then if you need a hint, you click on this need a hint button, and it will take you to the section of work that covers that topic. So even if you don't know the answer, it will show you where you can find the answer. So you see, I did a quick calculation and put 25 in, and it's telling me I nearly got it right, but I forgot that E is squared, so therefore the actual answer is 5. But it tells you what you did wrong, and it tells you what the right answer is. So this is a very, very good revision tool to help you. And then you just click Next Question, and on you go. If you get a question mark here, it means that it needs to have somebody check that answer. Now GCSE Prepper is, a, is an, an intelligence that is learning the answers, and some of the quizzes uh, you can answer it many, many different ways, and a computer program is just trying to match the answer with uh, pre-required pre answers. If you write it slightly differently, it puts a question mark because it wants someone to check. And someone at GCSE Prepper is going to check that. It might take a couple of days, though, for you to get your final results. So once you've got your answer to your quiz, don't give up hope. Some of the questions are still going to be reviewed in the next couple of days. Come back and check in a week or so and see the exact final answer that you got. But the majority of the questions, you're going to get instant feedback like I got now. The other way of revising is to click on manual mode. Now I want to show you how this works. So you click on here, start now, and what it will do is it's going to bring up a topic list that you can choose from. So let's say here, uh, which subject do I want to revise? I want to revise physics. And then you'll see 
automatically here there are 733 questions ranging 1,699 different marks available. This is quite an extensive resource. So now I've selected these three topics that I would like to cover. When you click on choose topic, they've done you a huge favor. Some are labeled major focus. Some are not given any descriptor, which means we're not sure if it's going to come up in the exam or not. And then there are certain topics where they say not tested. So these are according to the 2022 advanced information that we got, which said that there's going to be a certain amount of topics that are not going to appear in the 2022 exam. But it will appear in the 2023 exam. So GCSE Prepper has to allow for revision for whether you're in year 10 or whether you're in year 11 this year 2022. So what you'll do is you'll pick a topic. You'll pick say major focus and you'll see here that I want to select that one and I want to select say that one. So you can pick a quiz that covers the topics that you want to revise and then you can decide here whether you want a comprehensive quiz or an exam style quiz. So let's see what that means. This question set covers every aspect of the particular area of a specification being tested, whereas exam style is specifically GCSE styled questions to help you with perfect your exam technique. So you can switch off certain items. You are then going to restrict the number of questions that are available. So my advice is to keep them both on. So I want a short little quiz of five questions and you hit revise. And there you have it. You have a quiz of five questions. Uh, that is a very useful resource. Now one thing I'm going to point out, if you get a question wrong, once you complete the revision quiz, it actually asks you those questions again. So you get to practice answering them until you get them right, which is also a very useful tool to help you prepare for these exams. I hope this has been helpful. Please use GCSE Prepper to help you prepare for these exams.